Maha Shivaratri a Hindu festival celebrated annually in honor of the god Shiva. There is a Shivaratri in every luni solar month of the Hindu calendar, on the month's 13th night, 14th day, but once a year in late winter February, March, or Maga and before the arrival of summer, marks Maha Shivaratri which means, the great night of Shiva. It is a major festival in Hinduism, this festival is solemn and marks a remembrance of overcoming darkness and ignorance in life and the world. It is observed by remembering Shiva and chanting prayers, fasting, doing yoga, and meditating on ethics and virtues such as self-restraint, honesty, non-injury to others, forgiveness, and the discovery of Shiva. The ardent devotees keep awake all night. Others visit one of the Shiva temples or go on pilgrimage to Jyotirlingams. This is an ancient Hindu festival whose origin date is unknown. In Kashmir Shaivism, the festival is called Har Ratri or phonetically simpler Harith or Harith by Shiva faithfuls of the Kashmir region. Topic <laughs> description. Maha Shivaratri is an annual festival dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva and is particularly important in the Shaivism tradition of Hinduism. Unlike most Hindu festivals which are celebrated during the day, the Maha Shivaratri is celebrated at night. Furthermore, unlike most Hindu festivals which include expression of cultural revelry, the Maha Shivaratri is a solemn event notable for its introspective focus, fasting, meditation on Shiva, self-study, social harmony and an all-night vigil at Shiva temples. The celebration includes maintaining a jagaran, an all-night vigil and prayers because Shaiva Hindus mark this night as overcoming darkness and ignorance in one's life and the world through Shiva. Offerings of fruits, leaves, sweets and milk to Shiva are made, some perform all-day fasting with Vedic or Tantric worship of Shiva, and some perform meditative yoga. In Shiva temples, Om Nama Shivaya, the sacred mantra of Shiva, is chanted through the day. Maha Shivaratri is celebrated over three or ten days based on the Hindu luni solar calendar. Every lunar month, there is a Shivaratri 12 per years. The main festival is called Maha Shivaratri, or Great Shivaratri, and this is on 13th night waning moon and 14th day of the month Falguna Maga. According to the Gregorian calendar, the day falls in either February or March. <laughs> History and significance According to a few God-realized yogis, Maha Shivaratri was the day when Shiva drank poisonous negativity to protect the world. The Maha Shivaratri is mentioned in several Puranas, particularly the Skanda Purana, Linga Purana and Padma Purana. These medieval-era Shaiva texts present different mythologies associated with this festival, but all mention fasting and reverence for icons of Shiva such as the Lingam. Different legends describe the significance of Maha Shivaratri. According to one legend in the Shaivism tradition, this is the night when Shiva performs the heavenly dance of creation, preservation and destruction. The chanting of hymns, the reading of Shiva scriptures and the chorus of devotees joins this cosmic dance and remembers Shiva's presence everywhere. According to another legend, this is the night when Shiva and Parvati got married. A different legend states that the offering to Shiva icons such as the Linga is an annual occasion to get over past sins if any, to restart on a virtuous path and thereby reach Mount Kailasha and liberation. The significance of dance tradition to this festival has historical roots. The Maha Shivaratri has served as a historic confluence of artists for annual dance festivals at major Hindu temples such as at Konark, Kajuraho, Patadakal, Madhira, and Chidambaram. This event is called Natyanjali, literally worship through dance at the Chidambaram temple which is famous for its sculpture depicting all dance mudras in the ancient Hindu text of performance arts called Natya Shastra. Similarly, at Kajuraho Shiva temples, a major fair and dance festival on Maha Shivaratri, involving Shaiva pilgrims camped over miles around the temple complex, was documented by Alexander Cunningham in 1864. Maha Shivaratri and Tantra Maha Shivaratri is considered the day when Adiyoga or the first guru awakened his consciousness at the material level of existence. According to Tantra, at this stage of consciousness, no objective experience takes place and the mind is transcended. The meditator transcends time, space and causation. 
It is regarded as the dark night of the soul, when the yogi attains the state of shunya or nirvana, the stage preceding samadhi or illumination. In India Maha Shivaratri is celebrated in Tamil Nadu with great pomp and fanfare in the Animalai temple located in Tiruvannamalai district. The special process of worship on this day is Giravalam, Jiri Pradakshina, a 14 km barefoot walk around Lord Shiva's temple on top of the hill. A huge lamp of oil and camphor is lit on the hilltop at sunset, not to be confused with Karthagai Deepam. The major Jyotirlinga Shiva temples of India, such as in Varanasi and Somanatha, are particularly frequented on Maha Shivaratri. They serve also as sites for fairs and special events. The Mandi Fair is in the town of Mandi is particularly famous as a venue for Maha Shivaratri celebrations. It transforms the town as devotees pour in. It is believed that all gods and goddesses of the area, said to number more than 200, assemble here on the day of Maha Shivaratri. Mandi, located on the banks of Bees, is popularly known as the Cathedral of Temples, and one of the oldest towns of Himachal Pradesh, with about 81 temples of different gods and goddesses on its periphery. In Kashmir Shaivism, Maha Shivaratri is celebrated as Hararatri. It is also known as Bhairavatsva, or the Bhairava Festival, in the Tantric texts of Kashmir. People believe that on this day, Shiva is said to have appeared in the form of Jawalalinga or Linga of Flame. Central India has a large number of Shaiva followers. The Mahakaleshwar Temple, Ujjain, is one of the most venerated shrines consecrated to Shiva, where a large congregation of devotees gathers to offer prayers on the day of Maha Shivaratri. Tilwara Ghat in the city of Jubalpur and the Math Temple in the village of Jianara, Sioni are two other places where the festival is celebrated with much religious fervor. In Punjab, Shobha Yatras would be organized by various Hindu organizations in different cities. It is a grand festival for Punjabi Hindus. In Gujarat, Maha Shivaratri Mela is held at Junagadh where bathing in the Damodar Kunda is considered holy. According to myth, Lord Shiva himself comes to bath in the Damodar Kunda. In West Bengal, Maha Shivaratri is observed devoutly by unmarried girls seeking a suitable husband, often visiting Tarakeshwar. In Nepal Maha Shivaratri is a national holiday in Nepal and celebrated widely in temples all over the country, but especially in the Pashapadinath temple. Thousands of devotees visit the famous Shiva Shakti Peetham nearby as well. Holy rituals are performed all over the nation. Artists from various classical music and dance forms perform through the night. On Maha Shivaratri, married women pray for the well being of their husbands, while unmarried women pray for a husband like Shiva, considered as the ideal husband. Shiva is also worshipped as the Adi Guru first teacher from whom the Yajic tradition originates. Outside South Asia Maha Shivaratri is the main Hindu festival among the Shaiva Hindu diaspora from Nepal and India. In Indo-Caribbean communities, thousands of Hindus spend the auspicious night in over 400 temples across the country, offering special jals an offering of milk and curd, flowers, sugarcane and sweets to Lord Shiva. In Mauritius, Hindus go on pilgrimage to Ganga Talao, a crater lake. See also Pradosha Rudraksha Vibhuti Rudra Linga